I'm Tim Trotter, and today we're going to cover how to make your work regions smaller or larger in your GarageBand project to help you deal with larger projects or get down and dirty into fine details of your project. Once you've got GarageBand open up, sometimes you'll notice that you have a lot of stuff going on in your timeline. As you can see here, there's a lot of stuff going on. Go down to this bar here, which will allow you to change the zoom level of your editor. Right now it's about midway. If we increase it to the right, you'll notice all of these lines get longer and you can more visibly see all of the audio waveforms here. It also extends the length of the entirety of your work area here, which can be useful for either fine tuning various points in your track or seeing how long something really is. When the slider is all the way to the left, you'll notice the timeline is completely zoomed out and it allows you to see all the parts of your project all at once. Additionally, if you want to do this for a single track, make sure you've highlighted a track and then click on the advanced editor, this button here. This opens up the waveform and you can see it in fine detail. You'll also notice a slider, much like the one up top, on the bottom, but this one only affects this track. Slide to the right to see all of the little tiny details of that track, or all the way to the left to see just big bumps in the waveform, which can be useful if you're editing a beat or vocals. Those are just some of the ways that you can make the work area smaller or larger to suit your needs when you're making big or small projects in GarageBand. Thanks for watching.